Several candidates are running for the Republican nomination to take on Governor Tim Walz this November. Former state senator Scott Jensen is in the lead, according to the latest KSTP Survey USA poll. And as part of our series of conversations with Republican candidates for governor, chief political reporter Tom Hauser spoke with Jensen one-on-one. -on -one. I think we have to be able to have freedom of speech. Former state senator Scott Jensen is among the most plain-spoken and controversial Republican candidates for governor. At a recent debate, he talked about the right of Minnesotans to defend themselves during the current wave of carjackings and home invasions. If my daughter had her two kids in the back seat and at a stoplight, someone came with a hammer and started to hammer out the window so that they could take her car, I would want her to be able to pick up a gun in the console and shoot the bastards. I think that constitutional carry and stand your ground is both are absolutely essential. And honestly, I think we need to talk about castle doctrine being put into Minnesota statute so that people know that their home, their business, their car, they can take care of themselves. In an interview recorded for At Issue, Dr. Jensen, the former Republican senator from Chaska, also talked about why the COVID response by Governor Walls will be a key issue in the campaign. One or two things, major things you would have done differently had you been governor when this pandemic started. First off, the overreach was abusive and grotesque. That would be one thing. There was no reason to overreach like Governor Walls did and, and if you will, Governor Cuomo and Governor Newsom. That'd be one thing. Second thing is, I think Minnesotans deserve being trusted. I think that we saw an overreach and an intrusion into our lives. We saw early on that the nursing home policies in New York weren't working. Why did we repeat them in Minnesota? You can see this entire interview Sunday morning at 10 on At Issue. In St. Paul, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.